in this lesson, we'll install a Prettier plugin for Tailwind CSS. This is an extension for Prettier that will allow Prettier to sort or organize the order of the Tailwind CSS classes that we apply to a given element. So in Tailwind, the principle is that we apply a whole bunch of small utility classes to an element to give it its styling. So in a typical code base, it's reasonable to expect that your element might have a dozen Tailwind classes. And it becomes difficult for a developer to come up with a consistent sort order for the order of those classes, right? Do you want to have your padding classes first or your margin classes or your flex classes? Especially when you start to dive into Tailwind's responsiveness, there now becomes a ton of classes that you add on that may deal with different screen sizes. Basically, you're dealing with a lot of small classes and there's no consistency in the order that you may write them. So this is a perfect problem for the Prettier ecosystem because Prettier's whole idea is don't worry about it. We'll just give you a consistent solution, just like semicolons versus no semicolons, except this is now in the ecosystem or domain of Tailwind specifically. So this is an example of what a plugin can do for a Prettier. It can expand its functionality to support different libraries, right? And of course, the reason why this functionality doesn't exist by default in Prettier is because Tailwind is not used on every project in the same way that HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is. So Prettier is kind of a, a starter pack that includes support for the most common file types. And then for something a little bit more obscure, we add on a plugin if it's available to support formatting for that ecosystem. And in this case, we're adding support for formatting in Tailwind. So let me show you how that's gonna work. Here in my terminal, I'm going to execute npm install. It's going to be a dev dependency. So I'll add dash dash save dash dev. And our library is called prettier dash plugin dash tailwind CSS. Plugin in this case simply means extension. We're simply plugging it into prettier as an additional expansion pack on top of the core library. And the beautiful part about this plugin is we don't have to do any additional setup or anything like that. Whenever Prettier runs, Prettier will look at its starter pack and then it's gonna look at its available extensions or plugins and it's gonna apply all of those changes all at once to whatever files it's targeting. So we already have an npm run format command that will run Prettier on all files in the source directory. And it is in the source directory that we have our app.js file with these styles. So let's take a look at how it's going to change the order of those classes. So keep an eye on this header element right here and these CSS classes as I run the command. And you can see it reversed the order of a couple of them. Let me just show you one more time. If I go into here and I just drag these things around, right? Maybe I'll bring my text to Excel class to the very beginning when it's now at the very end. Maybe I'll move flex column to be, sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble with copying and pasting here but I'll move flex column to be between flex and H screen. You know, I'll add justify center, let's say at the very beginning. It's easy to see how even if you have your own consistent sort order, it might become difficult to maintain it across many different files. Let's say there's a hundred different components with a hundred different elements being styled by Tailwind. It's hard to maintain consistency, especially between developers, if all the developers are using Tailwind, right? So this is a perfect example where Prettier encourages consistency and organization. So once again, I'm going to run npm run format, and you can see it's going to bring those classes back to be in a consistent order. I, I don't really care what the order is. That's the whole sentiment behind Prettier. We'll let other developers, the developers who built Prettier and this plugin worry about it. We just now have some degree of consistency in our own code base, whether it be the semicolons, the spacing, the tabs, and now the Tailwind CSS class. Now it's not perfect. You'll notice here we do have an extra space between these classes right here. So we might need to adjust things even after Prettier has done its work. But believe me, Prettier saves you a lot of time, a lot of clicking and space presses and enter presses because it does give you that beautiful formatted uh, file uh, very quickly. And now we can see it even expands to support other things in other ecosystems, other libraries, other domains. All right, so hopefully that makes sense and I will see you in the next lesson.